Today I'm going to be installing this float switch into our water tank for our off-grid water system. Why don't you join us? So in the kit you get the box, the switch with 10 meters of cable, the counterweight to set your water level and some dodge instructions. Don't need those. So the first thing you need to do is thread the counterweight onto the cable and you need to nip a couple of these tabs off just so you can thread the cable through. I'll go ahead and do that. Just like so. So once you've threaded your cable through, you just want to snap that that back around there then push them in that'll stop the cable riding through just getting nice and seated back in there perfect so the way in which these work the cable comes through the top of the tank or the side wherever you decide to mount it this then sits at your desired water level, the counterweight, and there's a ball in here, and where that water level drops, as soon as it gets below the height you set this at, it drops below there, and the pump turns on. As soon as it reaches above that, or at that level, the pump turns off. It's nice and simple. So I'm at the water tank, and I'm just going to put a hole through the side of our tank, and run the cable from the inside through the hole to the water pump. Once I've got the hole, I'll then uh, cork around it just to make sure it's nice and sealed. She'll go. So I'm just going to feed the cable from the inside out. Let's see what it looks like inside the tank. Beautiful, beautiful job. So I'm just going to do a quick continuity check just to make sure that I've got the wires right. Uh, you can't trust those instructions that they send. It's just worth just do it yourself if you've got the kit because the amount of times it's been wrong in the past and you end up at the creek without a paddle. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. So just do your own tests. So I'm just stripping the wires to give myself a little bit more to play with. So I've got the float on the outside of the tank. So that should give us an off reading. So zero continuity. Keep those ends there. So I've got my multimeter here. I'm going to drop the float 
down into the tank now. The tank is empty, as you've seen earlier. And I'm just going to look for continuity between the wires. Okay. So the black and the blue on this one that I ordered, that is the circuit, and then this is the ground. I'm guessing brown is the earth because the earth colour is brown. Logic. Okay, so I'll see if I can show you that. So if you see that there, it's giving me a zero reading. So now if I lift this up on the outside of the tank, yeah, it goes off. So that's our switch circuit. So that's what we need to wire the pump into. And then the brown is earth, black and blue. So we're at the water pump now and we're gonna have a look at what we've got inside here and connect the switch up. Whenever you're working on electricals, make sure it's unplugged. Easy mistake to make. So I've got my cable from the float switch. So we're going to be connecting up these two. And that's our earth, bizarrely. So what I'm going to do is take these off. Bonk them down, take these wires off, and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to see if my wire will fit through that plug. So we've got a cat in here that's causing havoc, which isn't great. Where did I put that? Come on. Okay. We've got a lady, so together. So this, our earth, what we're going to do is take some earth coloured electrical tape and just wrap it around it just to help the guy after us because the guy after us is likely to be us. Just help let everyone know that that is not a live wire. It's actually an earth, bizarrely. Doesn't need to be earth, I don't know, I suppose. Okay. Just wrap that around in some type of fashion. As long as they get the gist. Got it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put a connector on the end of that just to help it to the earth. So I've just got a crimp on connector. I'm just going to 
just going to put that on the end. Feed them on. And I use these guys just to squeeze the shit out of them. Because I don't have much luck with the crimpers. <laughs> There you go. Give him a little tug just to make sure he's on there good. And then we'll put that guy there with his pal. So we've got his pal off. Put him on. There you go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put all this back and we'll give it a test just to see how it goes. Okay, so just about wrestled everything near in. We don't want to crush anything as we close it, so you need to be careful there. But hopefully, you've got a bit more room than me. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I've just got that snug down. I'm going to go mess about with the float switch now, plug this back in, and hopefully you'll hear the pump running when I move the float switch. Okay, so I'm just going to plug it in and hope for no bangs. Get it. Okay. Didn't let the smoke out, so that's a good sign. I'm going to go move the float switch. Great, it works. So we're back at the tank now with the pump installed and it all seems to be working so I'll just show you what that looks like. So here you've got the float switch. If I drop that in below the level. And then as soon as that reaches the water level, as soon as that reaches the water level, she stops. Perfect. So I'm going to tidy up all the bits now that needed doing, sort out the wiring, make sure that that little hole in the tank is filled up, that's running away now, I'll see if it stops okay, uh, but yeah, this is the float switch, um, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm not going to recommend it yet until it's had some use, it seems like a pretty uh, cheap and nasty one, but we'll see how it goes, if we have to swap it out for a more expensive one then we will, it's nice and simple, I hope you enjoyed the video.